All right, so if you've ever tried to play games on a laptop without a discrete graphic card like this Asus here, you know it's not always easy. Most games are going to default you into settings that either shred your frame rate or they won't even run at all. So what we went ahead and did was we benchmarked a whole bunch of different laptops with integrated graphics and a whole bunch of less demanding games to try to find a good middle ground, a set of tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of a laptop with integrated graphics. After conducting a battery of tests on a variety of different laptops, we decided that the Asus ZenBook UX330UA represents the best cross-section of performance that you're likely to see out of a work or student laptop over the next couple years. It features Intel's latest 8th generation processor, 8GB of RAM, and honestly, it's not really anything that special. That's why it's a good center point for testing games to kind of get an idea of sorts of tips and tricks that are gonna work on a variety of different systems. The first game we're gonna look at is Hearthstone. It's pretty easy to optimize for low-end computers since it's designed to work on everything from a smartphone all the way up to a high-end desktop. There aren't very many graphics settings here, but there are a couple ways that we can really maximize your performance, which is important because this is a competitive game. And when you're playing against someone else and there are a lot of cards on the table, Sometimes your frames can start to drop on a computer without a discrete graphic card. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go into the game menu. Under options, you'll see that there aren't a lot of graphic settings. We just have a couple presets. First thing we're going to do is set that to low, just to be safe. But the most important thing we're going to do is we're going to change the resolution. Now, Hearthstone's going to default to whatever your screen resolution is, probably 1080p. But we're going to step that down to 1600 by 900. And on top of that, so the game still looks good, we're gonna take it out of full screen. Now, taking the game out of full screen is gonna make it so it runs a little bit better, but in a game like Hearthstone, you're not gonna notice a huge performance bump, but it will smooth things out when you're playing um, against another person, someone with a lot of cards on the table. Moving into an actual game of Hearthstone, you will notice that the Aces here is starting to chug a little bit when there are big animations happening, but that's pretty typical. You're not going to be able to get around that on a system with integrated graphics. Another thing you might notice is even on low settings, it still looks pretty good. Since Hearthstone is a card game, it's not the most graphically intensive game out there, and that's a good thing, but that doesn't mean you can't improve your performance. By stepping down your resolution and breaking out the game into windowed mode and changing your settings to low, you'll definitely be able to see some performance gains in most PC card games. The next game we're going to look at is Rocket League. It's another game that doesn't have really robust graphic options, but the ones that are in-game make some pretty sweeping changes to the way it looks and performs. When you get in-game here, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the Options menu and have a look at the video options here. Now, it looks pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward. You have a lot of little options over here, but we're not going to be tweaking those. We're going to be looking at the presets. So under render quality, we're gonna step everything up to high quality, just so you can see how that performs. On a computer without a discrete graphics card, stepping everything up to high in Rocket League is gonna make performance be pretty rough, so let's take a look at that. As you can see here, we're getting pretty significant frame loss. It's not exactly what I would call a playable frame rate, especially in a competitive game like Rocket League, so we're gonna to wanna to go back into the settings and make a couple changes. Heading back into the video options here, we're still gonna ignore most of these granular settings here, during most of our tests, we didn't notice any of these really having a significant impact on gameplay on its own, but taken together, you're gonna see what it actually does to the graphical quality and the performance. Stepping things down to performance here, you notice basically everything is off, and that's a good thing. So looking at the performance we're getting here at the performance preset, it's pretty aptly named. We're getting really smooth frame rate. This is definitely the kind of frame rate that would make competitive play pretty comfortable, even on a computer without a discrete graphics card. Going back into the video settings, we're gonna have a look at what high performance does. It's only available for render quality and not available for render detail, so you're gonna to wanna to step that back down to performance just to make sure everything stays the same. So you might notice that things are a little bit smoother, but it's not a huge change overall. Mostly what changing the render quality did was step down the graphical quality just a little bit. So if you're still having some trouble and you're not getting a playable frame rate, go ahead and try high performance, but overall we would recommend that you stick with performance, especially at 1080p. If your computer's a couple years older than this one, chances are you're still gonna have performance trouble even after you move all the graphics settings down to their minimums. If that's the case, go ahead and move your resolution down to 720p and you should see a decent performance gain. 
At 720p, you're gonna notice we lost a lot of detail and the game looks pretty blurry. But that's fine, especially in a game like Rocket League where you really only need to see this giant ball and your opponent. As PC games go, Rocket League is pretty lightweight. And as long as you scale your settings down, chances are you're gonna be able to get a playable frame rate on a laptop that's even a couple years old. The next game on our list is Fortnite, and it's a tall order for a laptop without a discrete graphics card. But with a couple settings tweaks, you can get a playable frame rate out of it on a laptop with integrated graphics, but you're gonna have to be careful. Once you get into the game, first thing you're gonna wanna do is head to the settings menu. It's this gear icon right here. Now that's gonna take you into the video settings. This is usually what the default settings are gonna look like, but they're gonna be a little different depending on your system. First thing we're gonna do is turn off motion blur and set the preset to low. Now you'll notice that what that did here was that changed the 3D resolution to a significant degree. We're gonna go ahead and step that back up to 75%. When you change the resolution scaling in any game, essentially what you're doing is you're telling the graphical components of the game to run at slightly less than the max resolution that your screen is set at. In this case, you'll notice right here that our menu items, like the text up here, is still crisp, it's still rendered at 1080p, but once we get in game, you're gonna notice that your graphics are running at about 75% of your max screen resolution and the effect is pronounced. Now that we're in game, you can see that the frame rate isn't exactly perfect, but it's reasonable. You can definitely play the game at these settings, but since this is a competitive game, we would like to see a little bit of a higher frame rate. To do that, we're gonna head back into the settings real quick and hope we don't get killed. And then we're gonna step our 3D resolution back down to about 50%. Now that is probably the lowest you're gonna to wanna to go, because once we get out of this menu, you're gonna see that it has a huge effect on what the game looks like. You can see here that the game looks significantly softer, but you're also gonna notice that we're actually getting a decent frame rate. This is a very playable frame rate. Obviously, when there are a lot of things going on on screen, when you're getting shot at, you're gonna lose some frames just because this game is pretty demanding. But overall, this is a good frame rate and more than enough to get a couple rounds of Fortnite in between meetings. Obviously your mileage is gonna vary depending on which game you're running on which laptop, but overall the settings that we outlined for these particular games will see you through a wide variety of different games running in integrated graphics. So to recap, first set your settings down to low, then go ahead and go into your resolution scaling if you can and change it to 75 or 50%. And third, go ahead and change your overall resolution down to 720p. That should give you the horsepower you need to play most games that aren't too demanding on integrated graphics.